Don't you have anything warmer to wear? How'd you mean? You're stuck in camp all the time. You used to be such a man of action. Well, I'm sorry. Good evening. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sounds good, Mr. Morgan. That woman. That... Words fail me. Words fail all of us when it comes to women. You like the new camp, uh, Reverend? Oh, yes. No. We moved, didn't we? God help us. Oh, well. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay. About the same. Some good. Some bad. Some you think are good, turn out to be bad. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy pickings. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. <sighs> Come on, then, you miserable bastards. Hey! How you get wind of this, old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. Well, while you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. What's it? So what is it you've scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. OK, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Now, they'll be passing through the cross. up ahead. Wind. Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There. You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Stop the damn wagon! Whoa! Now, don't 
try anything stupid, and we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, <sighs> Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Inside. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit! Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn! Get out here. Get out here. I let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... I, I why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Go ahead, go ahead. Tell me what you heard. I don't... I don't maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Huh? Sir. <clears throat> Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back.
place looks empty to me. And the old guy up there is full of crap. Yeah, I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Ah! Get in hell, boys! Watch it, you... Oh, we got... One. The bastards on this side! Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's going up to security. More on the right here! Is that all you got? Bastard! Get the hell off me! He's gone. Arthur! Fine box for you, boy. Made a meal out of that, didn't you? Oh, just stand there, why don't you? Making an old man suffer. Over there. 
We better go give him a hand. Still alive? Yeah, just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. Uh, we got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn one on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Gwonk. Get out of here. Every man split up, Gwonk. Run, quick. Good luck, Jones. Stay quiet and move. Okay, then, girl. Yep. Okay, girl. Yep.
My table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I hear you. Sure, might as well make some money off it. Many thanks, Mr. I came Morgan. To America because I this can't to do with a few improvements. Why don't you take a look at my ideas? Listen, I know. Well, things are just kind of tough. I ran. Well, I think I'm going to turn. We've had it tough before. We're being tested in this country. But we are going to overcome. No, I reckon these I need to get my hands on some materials first. Now, Blackwater. I had nothing except for my fear. It weren't nothing nice. I know that. But we. We. Under? 